Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and we are now at chapter 3 of our Red Hat OpenShift administration uh, tutorial. In this chapter, we will learn OpenShift storage, persistent volume claim, also known as PVC, persistent volume. And at last, we will do a lab in which we will see how we can persistent our database. Okay, so what we will do, we will create one application and then uh, we will attach the PVC and PV to that application. And uh, uh, later on, we will store some data into the database. Uh, later on, we will uh, uh, remove that application uh, from the cluster. We will create a new application and then attach that previous created PVC to that application to see whether our data is persist or not. Okay, so we will do this demo. So first thing come first, at what is open safety storage and uh, this persistent volume claim and the persistent volume. So whatever data we are storing inside the container, these data will be removed as soon as container will be removed from the cluster okay so you need to understand this storage whatever container is provided it is very volatile nature okay and you know in the uh, cluster environment open shift cluster environment uh, creation of the pod creation of the containers is very dynamic okay at any time of moment if uh, um, a cluster feels and master nodes right a uh, lot of things are there it feels that uh, the pod and the container is not at the good health then uh, it can stop that pod or container and can spawn of new pod or container. That's why whatever data we will store inside the container will also be removed as soon as the container will be stopped. That's why we have to find out a way that whatever data we are storing in the container, this should be the persistent, okay? So that's why we need persistent volume clean and the persistent volume. So once we create a project, then uh, if we want that inside that project is data need to be persist, then we have to create a persistent volume claim. Okay, uh, you can think about this storage. There are this is the global thing, right? There are some default uh, um, uh, storage classes provided by the OpenShift. We will see in the example later. Uh, let me first uh, um, tell you the, diff the the things. What this persistent volume claim and uh, persistent volume. So uh, there are some default uh, storage class and there are some wide, right? You must know something about the cloud storage, right? S3 in the, um, uh, in the AWS, right? Simple storage services. Likewise, we are having block storage. We are having file storage as well provided by the AWS, right? S3 is the object storage. Same way in other cloud as well, in IBM cloud as well, we are having the object storage, file, file, object, file storage and the block storage in Azure Cloud also, right? In your in your on-premise also, you might having these things. So these things can be uh, can be attached with your cluster, with your project via the PVC, means persistent volume claim. So first, if you want to store data in either any cloud or in the default, in any by any means via the either in file storage or either in the block storage or uh, object storage, first you have to create a PVC, okay? And then from your deployment in your application, you will create the persistent volume. That persistent volume will be attached with your PVC, okay? So <clears throat> first you will create the PVC and then PVC is the connection is to the actual storage and PV is connection your container to your PVC. Okay, that in that way you can think about it. Okay, so let me go ahead for your demo. Uh, for your demo and the demo once I will um, show you the commands and how in the background it is happening. Okay, so that you can have a very good understanding of this uh, uh, storage. Um, concepts in OpenShift. Okay, so what we will do going to do, we will execute all these commands. Okay, so uh, we will execute all these commands one by one, and I will explain all commands to you. Okay, so let first move to our uh, uh, cluster environment. It is my cluster environment. I am already there and uh, uh, i have logged in as the cube admin here okay we can see where the command who am i 
okay so for this demonstration i am the cube admin okay so let me uh, start one by one things here uh, so first let me understand what is the storage class okay so once you will give this command oc get uh, uh, storage class okay so it will provide so this is the default uh, storage class uh, uh, already attached in my cluster, okay, NFS storage. Same way, there might be some other classes as well, like for AWS, okay, uh, like for uh, other G GCP, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, okay. And uh, based on these storage class, then you will create your PVC, okay. So let first do one thing. Let me first create a application and that application is the database. Postgres database, uh, let me have in uh, as a application inside our container so that I can show you how this data will be persist. Okay, uh, whatever we data we will store in this Postgres database, uh, how it will be uh, persist, okay, in this uh, um, uh, storage class. Okay, so the command is OC new app, and then hyphen hyphen name means uh, uh, the name of the application. The name of the application would be the post, uh, uh, Postgres uh, uh, persistent, and hyphen hyphen image means from where we are getting the image, right? So we are getting this image from the Red Hat, and this is the image name. Hyphen E means the environment, okay? It is kind of the environment variable. So once the container will be created, then these environment variable with these values, right? This is the uh, key and value kind of things, right? So these, uh, these value will be set as the environment variable inside the container, okay? In this environment variable, we are uh, giving the value of the Postgres user, Postgres password, and the database name. Okay, so let me create it. Okay, so our application is being created via OC get all. We can check whether our application is up and running or not. Okay, so here the pod is uh, being preparing. Okay, you, we can see container is creating. So let's wait until that container is created. Okay. So let me again execute OC get all command. Okay, now we can see our pod is ready. Okay, and our database is in running state. Okay, but as of now, as uh, I told you, this as this whatever data we will store in this container in this Postgres, okay, which is running inside this container. As soon as we will stop the container, or by any means, if health is not good and uh, OpenShift itself stop this container and will recreate the new container, our all data will be removed. Okay. Okay, that's why we need the storage okay persistent storage so how we can create the persistent storage for it we have to create the volume okay so let me first copy this command and let me execute this command here okay so what this command will do oc Set okay, it is setting the volumes. Okay, volume is your storage. We have in the deployment, deployment of our application. This is our application name Postgres SQL persistent. Okay, and then it is adding the Postgres SQL, right? I mean, uh, it is a kind of PVC. Okay, and uh, um, it, it is using a claim class as I told you. So, you know, class uh, storage classes, right? So, this is the storage class name NFS storage, the default storage class. Likewise, if you are having AWS and other class already there in your cluster provision in your cluster, you can use these. Okay. Then, a uh, claim mode is important thing. Claim mode RWO means read, write once. Okay. In a single node. The other values could be RWX, which means read, write many to the many nodes. And it could be the, um, uh, one more, uh, read XW, okay? Read many and write. Read to from many nodes, write once, okay? Then uh, this would be the size of our uh, volume, okay? 10, uh, 10 uh, ZI. And the amount 
mount path is if mount path is very very important okay so here we are providing mount path bar lift postgres sql so whatever data inside our container will be there in this uh, directory post uh, sql pg sql directory all this data will be persistent inside the volume okay whatever we are design defining here and our claim name would be postgres sql okay so the, our volume name would be postgres sql here in this command we are creating both we are creating the pvc as well the pv okay so uh, both pvc and pv name would be the postgres sql storage okay so let me execute this command and later on i will show you okay so our this storage is already been created and if we give command oc get pvc okay it is uh, returning our uh, as the um, our per persistent volume claim right its name is the uh, persistent storage and status is bound right means it is now ready to use it's already been bound to our uh, application to our container okay and uh, uh, this is the volume and the capacity access mode i already told you read write ones okay and storage classes nfs storage and if we want to see our PV, then we will give command OC get PV. Right. So this is our uh, volume detail. Right. So this detail with this volume we recently created for our application. Right. Uh, this and another one as you are saying the registry claim it is for the registry purpose right uh, our image purpose image registry purpose and this is for uh, which we just recently created the second row okay so let me go ahead and play uh, with our uh, postgres database and our persistent uh, um, storage okay for it i have some uh, a script written over here Okay, and let me go uh, through this script. Uh, first script will be, uh, okay, we will insert some data. Let me see what kind of data we are going to insert in our database, okay? So for it, I am having this uh, uh, SQL file. Okay, so um, uh, we will first create this table inside Postgres data well and then insert these some rows inside the database, okay? And how we are going to do this for it, I have created uh, another cell script. And uh, uh, let I show you the cell script also. Okay, so this cell script we will use. Okay, we will uh, go inside the deployment pod. Okay, and then we will insert uh, our. Um, our script, right? This in script.sql we will insert there, right? Inside directly inside our post SQL database using the user and password, right? This is the user that had and uh, password is that, right? You know the command I shown you for creating the Postgres database and this is our database name, okay? So let me execute this command first. This is uh, uh, init command. Okay, so it is showing that our table is created and it's also inserted the database inside the uh, pod. Okay, so how we can check this value from the pod? I have created another uh, script for it. Okay, and let me execute it, check data.sh. Right, so it is getting this data from the pod itself. Okay, now you know we have. Uh, attached uh, PVC and the uh, uh, volume to our pod. That's why this data is persistent. Now, if we remove uh, this application, right, uh, uh, from the uh, cluster, then still our data should be persist, okay? And whenever we will create application again or the pod will be created again, it will be automatically attached with the uh, our volume. Okay, that is the important point you need to understand while we are working on the storage. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, delete our application. Okay, so how we can delete OC via the OC delete command. Okay, so what we are doing here OC delete and all means we are deleting all resources uh, who are matching our hyphen L means label. Okay, 
which are um, um, having label app is equal to this, right? This is our application name. So all resources, whatever, so that's why label is important in every, um, my tutorial, in last tutorial as well, I told you this label is very important. So once we create any application, so all resources my having some uh, labels attached with each other, right? Via this label, our resources, application uh, um, attached with each other as well as communicate with each other. That's why this label is important. Here also in this command, we will delete all the resources which is having this label, okay? It means it will delete all the things, right? Now let me see if all the things get deleted via OC get all command. Right, so it is saying no resource now. So all pod, everything has been removed. Pod removed, container removed, service and everything removed, but our data should be persist still, okay? To check that how now what we will do, let me create a, another application. And then this new application, we will attach with that data only, that volume only, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. Now our application name would be Postgres SQL persistent two. Okay, so this is our first application we have removed. We are creating this new uh, application from the same image, from the same image registry with the same uh, uh, SQL user, uh, Postgres SQL user, same uh, uh, password and with the same database. Okay, so it is going to create the new application. Let me check whether our application is created or not via OC get all command. Right, so it is showing that the application pod is created and up and running and other resources has also been created, right? Image stream, right? So all these things have been created. Now what we do, let first check whether this application is having any data or not, okay? So for that, again, execute our script to check, right? So it is saying there is no data and no uh, uh, table is exist, right? Because we have created this new application, but we have not attached any volume and not have attached the previous volume which, have, which we have created. Once we have attached that volume, we will get the data right? uh, automatically, right? So for do that, let me attach our volume to this newly created application. Okay, again, OC set command with the volume, okay, and but we are setting the volume in where in the our deployment and deployment to which application this uh, post SQL persistent to application, okay, again, we are adding uh, uh, this uh, uh, volume and the PVC, okay, and our mount path, it is very important, right, because in the inside the container, all data will be stored in the wildly post SQL data directory, right, so this, uh, this uh, directory we are mounting with our volume, okay, now this is done, and uh, um, let me again check uh, whether uh, it will get the data or not, right, Right. Okay, so now you can see in that way we have persist our data. So no matter our pod or our application removed from uh, the cluster or from the projects, our data will remain persist in the uh, volumes, either in the cloud or anywhere else in different, very uh, different means and different things are there. Okay, so let's go ahead again and delete our application. Okay, so we are using the same command for delete. Okay. And for deleting the PVC, okay. So as I told you, this PVC is related to the, is the PVC is not related to your uh, application. PVC uh, is related to your project. So uh, we have removed everything, but still we will be able to get um, uh, PVC, okay, if we give command uh, OC get PVC, you can see still our PVC is still on, okay, but once we will remove this PVC, then all our data will be gone, okay, till this PVC is there, our data is persist there, but once we will uh, remove the PVC, delete the PVC, then our data is gone, okay, so once we will execute, now PVC has been deleted. Thank you.
so uh, that's all guys for uh, this tutorial thanks very much for watching